today I have a makeup tutorial and a hair tutorial for you guys. If you guys want to know how I got the makeup and the hair, continue watching. So I just want to apologize to you guys that I have not been on it with the videos, but I promise I will be on top of it this week. So that's why I want to do a full face and then I'm going to do my hair in curls. So if you guys want to see this video, please continue watching. So I applied tape because I am going to do gut crease because a lot of you have been asking me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook to keep going with the cut crease because you guys think that looks a lot better on me than how I normally do it. So I'm like, okay. And it gives me more practice anyway, so I'm cool with it. So let's go in with a nude eye primer. Going in just with a plain, simple nude eye primer. Whatever you have handy gonna use just a plain I'm gonna use this brush right here and I'm just gonna apply the eye primer all over my lid so that this eye look stays on all night so I'm gonna be using my Maybelline eye studio and this one is give me this one right here and then my more free palette the 350 so, before we do all that, sorry I'm like really hyper because I'm drinking Starbucks, so I'm really hyper right now. Okay, so going in with the Morphe 504, I'm going to pick up this shade right here. And I'm just going to dust it all over the eye. Oop, I got my freaking eyeball. Just gonna dust this all over me. Oh, oh. Okay. okay, going in with my Milani Shadows Eyes, and this one is Espresso. I like using this one for my cut creases because I feel like it really just helps. It just glides on really nice with the cut crease. Okay, now going in with a eyeliner brush, I'm gonna grab some of that product so I'm gonna go above my crease just like that and then I'm gonna go on to the other side Okay, so going in with the Beauty Junkies Pro Blending Brush, I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Pick this up on the brush. This palette is so pigmented. And then I'm just going to place that right where that line is and I'm just going to blend that shade in there. It's okay if we get some down here, we're going to clean that up, but try not to get it too messy. So we're just going to blend that shade right there. Okay, now going in with... Okay, now going in with the shade right here. It just takes a lot of blending, a lot of patience. So, if we're going to do a cut crease for the holidays, just make sure you have a lot of patience and you have enough time so you can blend, blend, blend. Because that's just what this look is. It's just a lot of blending. Okay, now to place a shade underneath my brow bone, I'm going to go in with the shade right here mixed with the shade. I'm just going in... I'm going in with my foundation and concealer brush from Soho, but I like the brush on this side to apply eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply that underneath there. It's 
So going in with this shade right here, I love using this shade. It is just such a pretty rich brown. So I'm going to use that on an e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm just going to focus it right there. Just like that. Now to clean it up, I'm going to go in with a white eyeshadow base like I always do. Then I'm going to go in just with a really thin brush. Then you have to focus, 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 focus on this part. So you're just going to clean up right there. there you go now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like a bronze coppery shade okay so I'm gonna go in with that shade just on a flat eyeshadow brush and pick that shade up Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with the dark cocoa shade on a Profusion small contour brush. I'm just going to pick some of that up. Then I'm just going to go right above it. I can't make any mistakes and get any on the lid. So just play, pay very, very close attention. So now going in with our face, since it's been really, really, really cold lately and my face has been cracking so much and it just feels so dry, I'm going to go in with two primers. I'm going to be mixing the Hangover, the Too Faced Hangover Primer and then the Remmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. I'm going to mix these two babies together and then I'm just going to first pat. And then blend, blend, and I'm just gonna, yeah, blend it in my face. I like to get it underneath the eyes too, just so that the under eye is moisturized. I really like the way my nails look. Um, I really like the way it looks having nails, but I really think this is going to be my last time with my nails because it's a pain. Like, I feel like um, there's certain things I can't do, and I'm just not loving it right now. So, since I am doing full glam, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Better, what is it, Better Skin, and I'm going to go in with MAC. Studio foundation. Okay, now going in with a damp beauty blender. 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 Okay. And I'm just gonna add some mini <laughs> I'm gonna add some mini babe mist just on the bottom. Oops. Okay, and then I'm just gonna bounce that in my face. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Jordana Complete Coverage 2-in-1 Concealer. I really like using this concealer because it is just the right amount of yellow. It is gorgeous. Oop, I'm going to mess around and put too much. So with this, a little bit goes a long way. Since I did apply dots, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Junkies Pro Flat Definer. And I'm just going to... Just kind of like spread this out so it's easier to blend. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with the tip of the, be the beauty blender. Oh, I cannot talk today. And I'm just going to blend that. Now, going in with the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift. This one is in the shade Classic Tan. Looks like this. And I'm going to go back in with that Beauty Junkies Flat Definer Brush. I'm going to add some to the brush. Okay, now going in with the mini beauty blender, I'm going to go in with the air spun. I've been loving this, loving this, just that under eye, uy, pendeja, almost fell. So I'm just going to grab some on the beauty blender, and I'm just going to place it right underneath my eye, just so that doesn't crease, and we're going to let it like chill for 10 minutes or so. And you can use this damp, you can use this um, dry, whatever you prefer. When you apply the powder, it like goes everywhere. So I'm going to leave it like that for 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to go get some more coffee because it is, what time is it? 3 o'clock in the morning. That's much I love you guys. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to go get some more coffee. And yeah. I'll be back. Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes, so now I'm going to go in with a small brush, and I'm just going to, don't do that. I just put the whole brush in my bow, and I'm just going to sweep it away. Don't try to be a chingona like me, and do it how I did at the beginning. That really hurt. Okay, so there you go. And it just looks brighter, and there's no creasing underneath my eyeball, so bingo. Okay, so now going in with the Milani Eyeshadows Espresso, I'm going to oh, put this in my waterline. Tickles the hell out of me every time. Okay, so now since I look like a goth chick, we got to bronze our face to bring some life to it. So going in with the Beauty's Junkie Mini Angled Brush. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And you think I would know the name since I use this one so much. W8 Cream Cafe. So I'm going to go in with the angled brush. And then I'm just going to place it right there. Right there. It picks up a lot of product. You see that? Love it. Okay, now going into my Too Faced black little black book. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is the Chocolate Soleil in medium tan. It's more of a deep bronzer. I'm just gonna go over my cheeks. Okay, now to highlight my face, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And I'm going to go in with the Courtney Kim and Chloe Karma Beauty Palette. It's this one right here. And I'm going to pick up the highlighter. The highlighter is so beautiful. It's It looks white, but when you blend it into the skin, it kind of has like a gold... A gold gold like highlight to it I don't know how to explain it so I'm gonna go over the I'm gonna go over it with a brush and I'm just gonna put it right on top of my cheekbones just like that 
It looks white in here, but don't be afraid of it. Brown biscuits, just give it a try. And as soon as it touches your skin, it like goes gold. Just gold. I love it. Did you, did you see that? The heck? Okay. There. And then right on our nose. Got a highlight or mustache. My Cupid's bow. I don't know what the heck it is. I've been just like going like that to it. Mm, and it's like getting chapped. So embarrassing. Like it looks so dumb. Yeah, you can never have too much highlight. Okay, then I'm going to set my face with the mini babe mist. bathe in it okay so instead of going bold like I wanted to I'm gonna go in with beeper this one right here it's color pop okay so now we're gonna go on to curling my hair I am using I over here this is hot and gold I found this at Ross I believe for $12.99 or $6.99 it was really that cheap and it is oh, I love it it has such a long cord so you can move around with it and you know jam out and all that it goes up to 500 which is really really high I like to stay right 400 I like to stay there so oh that's getting hot oh god it does not take that long to get hot okay so what we're gonna do is take Oh, oh, feels so good. We're gonna take the Liga out. Okay, and here is my hair. Oh, so okay, now we're gonna go in with Color Edge Hot Spray. This stuff is really, really good. And when I say really, really good, I really believe really in it. It's not sticky. It protects your hair, and it smells oh, amazing. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna spritz some of that on my hair so it doesn't burn. So my hair can be oh, beautiful for a long, long time. Okay, so what I like doing, I like using two clips and a hair tie, a liga, whatever you prefer to call it. So what I like doing is suctioning off my hair Part we're gonna put up then we have this bottom section okay so what I like doing is grabbing a strand like that wrapping it around the barrel wait like 10-15 seconds then we're just gonna pull it out and you should have something like that. Did you see? Bloop, bloop, bloop. So I just repeat this whole step. Be very careful because you could, you can burn yourself, and believe me, you will curse. It hurts so bad. I where I think I'm like a badass, I'll go really fast. Don't take your time. Like seriously, take your time. Don't rush it. like that I just burn myself <laughs> okay so there you go and then I'm just gonna speed this up and I'm just gonna do a little bit okay Okay, so the bottom section is done. Now what I like doing is going in with the going with the liga and I'm just gonna wrap up my hair that I already curled. So putting it in a ponytail. Now I'm gonna take down another section. Now this we're gonna do the same thing that we did to our bottom section to the middle section. So I'm just gonna take a piece of the hair. Oh, we're gonna put this down. 
I'm gonna take a piece of the hair and I'm just gonna wrap it around. Again, be very careful. And yeah, let's just do our hair. Okay, so now this is going to be the last strand. Let me get my bangs out of the way. I like to curl my bangs last. Let me see you. Sometimes my hair mixes up with them. Okay, so here's my bangs. I'm just going to put them to this side. Okay, and there you go. There's all the hair. What you guys think? I like it. I like the way it looks and I don't spray any hairspray in it because I don't want it to weigh down. Like I said before when I was crimping my hair, I don't like to put any hairspray because I feel like it just weighs it down and it tends to look really really gray. So I'm going to go in with my Color Edge Anti-Fade Spray and I'm just going to give myself a couple spritz. And this is just going to give it more shine and it's going to make it look more glossy. And I think it looks good. Of course you can curl your bangs more whatever you want to do but I really like the way it looks and look just boing boing. I really like the way it looks. It looks really just see so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this makeup tutorial and hair tutorial. If you guys have any requests, please leave them down below. And if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.